My dear brothers, sisters, youngsters and children, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I extend a cordial and a warm welcome to each one of you for this holy Eucharistic celebration. On this auspicious God-given day, we shall reflect on the theme, Mary, Refuge of Sinners. Mary, Refuge of Sinners. We pray that we may be able to realize and acknowledge in the presence of God, Lord, I am a sinner in need of your mercy. Let us seek a powerful intercession during this Holy Eucharist and in the spirit of surrender and worship, we begin this sacrifice. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, in order to celebrate this holy banquet of love in a worthy manner, let us call to our mind our shortcomings and failures and ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary for most among the poor and humble to be the mother of the Saviour, grant we pray that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Ever since the day we heard about you, we have never failed to pray for you. And what we ask God is that, through perfect wisdom and spiritual understanding, you should reach the fullest knowledge of His will. So you will be able to lead the kind of life which the Lord expects of you, a life acceptable to Him in all its aspects, showing the results in all the good actions you do 
and increasing your knowledge of God. You will have in you the strength based on his own glorious power, never to give in, but to bear anything joyfully, thanking the Father who has made it possible for you to join the saints and with them to inherit the light, because that is what he has done. He has taken us out of the power of darkness and created a place for us in the kingdom of the Son that he loves. And in him we gain our freedom, the forgiveness of our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, our response. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of his right. Our response. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord all the earth. Ring out your joy. Our response. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music, with trumpet and the sound of the horn. Acclaim the King, the Lord. Our response. The Lord has made known his salvation. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Through the good news, God called us to share the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 5, verses 1 to 11. Jesus was standing one day by the lake of Genesaret, with the crowd pressing around him, listening to the word of God. When he caught sight of two boats close to the bank, the fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, it was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and pay out your nets for a catch. Master, Simon replied, We worked hard all night long and caught nothing. But if you say so, I will pay out the nets. And when they had done this, they netted such a huge number of fish that their nets began to tear. So they signaled to their companions in the other boat to come and help them. When these came, they filled the two boats to sinking point. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus, saying, Leave me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were completely overcome by the catch they had made. So also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were Simon's partners. But Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, it is men you will catch. Then bringing their boats back to land, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers, sisters, youngsters, and children, on this God-given day, we are reflecting on the theme, Mary, Refuge of Sinners. We are offering this sacrifice that we may be humble enough to acknowledge in the presence of God that I am a sinner, Lord, I am in need of your mercy and help and aid. So therefore, let us reflect on this theme a little more deeper. Mary, refuge of sinners. 
we see in Mary a mother, one who loves the lost sheep as Jesus loves them. This is the heart of a mother. We see her as great intercessor with him as she prays for them in conformity with the divine will. She is our refuge, our advocate, because God wants us to come to him through her. Since every grace he gives us is given through her hands. And my brothers and sisters, it is in this sense Our Lady is refuge of sinners, wanting to save us, pleading with Jesus to save us, ever ready to come to our help, ever ready to cover us with her mantle of love. This refuge of sinners. Such a beautiful thing, isn't it? She's the refuge of sinners. We can just run to her and she's there to cover us with a mantle and save us and lead us to Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, in the first reading, we see how Paul is inviting you and me to live a worthy life. It's an invitation to live a worthy life. What is that all about? Colossians chapter 1 verses 9 and 10. Colossians chapter 1 verses 9 and 10. We have not ceased praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding so that you may lead lives worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him as you bear fruit in every good work and as you grow in the knowledge of God. See, my brothers and sisters, this is an instruction or this is an invitation from Paul to you and to me today. We have not ceased praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will. Filled with the knowledge of God's will. Continuous prayers and perseverance is needed for us to remain in the state of grace. Also, besides growing in spiritual wisdom and understanding will help us to realize the areas of our fall. My, <clears throat> my dear brothers and sisters, therefore it is of utmost important that we realize this one and once we realize this, we are able to lead a worthy life. Yes, in the Gospel, we see Jesus asking Simon Peter to cast net for a catch. Now that's when Simon expressed his difficulty and emptiness. Simon is expressing his difficulty and emptiness. After hard work, Lord, we have toiled all night, but we failed. There is no fruit for our work. But, however, at your word, I will cast my net. In other words, Simon was ready to listen to the voice of Jesus, to obey him. Now, he did it. What happened? He experienced a miracle great catch he experienced a miracle big catch even their nets were breaking when he experienced this miracle he felt his unworthiness he felt his unworthiness and he openly confessed he openly confessed saying that from the gospel of luke chapter 5 verse 8 an open confession to jesus gospel of luke chapter 5 verse 8 simon peter fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. That's when he realized his faults and failures, his sinfulness. And then he is openly confessing to Jesus, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. My brothers and sisters, you see, Jesus, when this man acknowledged, Simon acknowledged in the presence of God that I am a sinful man, immediately God intervened. Jesus intervened and said, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. In other words, 
harvesting souls for heaven now on you will be catching people harvesting souls for heaven my brothers and sisters we need to humbly acknowledge in the presence of God that I am a sinner we need to humbly acknowledge in the presence of God that I am a sinner I am a sinful man I am in need of mercy Lord without you I am nothing we need to go humbly in the presence of God acknowledging our failures therefore <clears throat> let us seek the intercession of our mother in this regard she will speak for us to God she will definitely speak for us to God for she indeed is the refuge of sinners may God bless us all Amen Pray, my brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice which you and I offer together may be acceptable and pleasing in the sight of God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise for truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended our abundant mercy from age to age when you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid you gave us through her the author of our salvation your son Jesus Christ our Lord through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her blessed spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Francis de Sales, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co in our life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other some sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the banquet of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
sacrament. Come, let's share in the love of the Lord, in the blessed sacrament. In the bread and drink the wine, flesh and blood of the Lord divine. Share His life, it is yours and mine, for we are one. We shall now recite the Novena Prayer. O Most Holy Virgin, you were chosen by the Most Adorable Trinity from all eternity to be the Most Pure Mother of Jesus. O Tender Mother of the Afflicted, grant me under my present necessities that special protection you have promised to those who devoutly commemorate this ineffable joy. Relying on the infinite mercies of your Divine Son, trusting in the promise which He has made that those who ask should receive, and penetrated with confidence in your powerful prayers, I most humbly entreat you, intercede for me. I beg you to obtain for me the favours which I petition for in this Novena. If it be the holy will of God to grant them, to ask for me whatever graces I most stand in need of. In the silence of our heart, let us express our heart's desire to our Blessed Mother. I beseech you, O Comfortress of the afflicted, by the joy you received when the Word was made flesh, to obtain for me the favours and graces which I have now implored through your powerful intercession. For this end, I offer you all the good works which have been performed in your honor. I most humbly entreat you for the love of the amiable heart of Jesus, with which yours was ever so inflamed, to hear my humble prayers and to obtain my requests. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and we are of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, our Mother, pray for us. Praise the Lord our God, for in Mary his handmaid, he has fulfilled his promise of mercy to the house of Israel. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation and of faith, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that we who devoutly honor the Blessed Virgin Mary may be worthy to share with her in the charity of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let's go forth and live Jesus. Thanks be to God. Mother of Jesus and Mother of Holiness, be the light of the world. Bathe in the glory, the glory of Jesus can save by the Spirit. Shine. Breathe on the deep and the dark.
spirit.